My name is uh, Nandan Nilekani. I am a co-founder of Infosys and I have played various roles at Infosys over the last 40 years. Currently, I am the chairman of Infosys. Infosys was a very exciting idea when it was first put out by Mr. Murthy. The idea was to create a professionals company, a company of people who had software background and expertise as different from most of the companies of that era which were either multinationals or family owned or government owned. So Infosys was creating a new kind of a company where people came together because of their professional competence. In that sense, Infosys was India's first startup. And Mr. Murthy was a very inspiring and charismatic leader who had this vision of creating this different kind of company. And we were all very excited, which is why without a second thought and asking my wife, whom we had just got married at the time, I chose to join this adventure called Infosys. Infosys was always a shining star uh, in India. Uh, as I explained, uh, before Infosys came along, uh, India's companies were either multinationals, family owned or government public sector undertakings. Infosys was the original startup which showed that a bunch of people from normal middle class backgrounds could come together and create a great company. And the values that Infosys stood for, uh, customer focus, quality, high standards of corporate governance, separating the personal from the professional, creating a meritocracy, all these were very important things and the whole startup revolution is happening, but it all began with Infosys. Infosys is everything, I mean, uh, my wife is jealous of Infosys because she thinks I give it more attention. Uh, and uh, it's, it's really been integral to my self-image, my self-worth. And uh, so I think, uh, I, th I think, as I said, one story is that I actually went to Bombay uh, when we brought in our first uh, mini computer. I went to Bombay to fly back with this because we are so concerned that it come early and get installed as uh, soon as possible. Infosys began in 1981 and those were very different times in, for business in India. And uh, I remember uh, the one point when we all really felt that it was going to the next level was when we imported our first mini computer, the Data General MV8000, which was installed in Bangalore. And uh, I remember we were very keen to get that machine into Bangalore as soon as possible. And I went all the way to Bombay just to escort that computer down to Bangalore. And it was at that point we felt that we were now actually having our own computer on which we could train people, on which we could write software. And that was a defining moment. We had many uh, points at which we faced uh, uh, challenges or we faced uh, uh, different odds. Uh, in the 80s, we had a foray into making uh, hardware. We had Infosys digital systems and Infosys manufacturing systems, but we were not successful at that. And that's when we resolved to stay in the software business going forward. And then we had that defining moment in 91, when India became uh, economically liberalized it was possible to do remote development using satellite uh, connections. Uh, the capital markets were opened up with free pricing. The software technology park idea was introduced uh, with uh, zero tax and no customs duty on imported computers. Uh, econ the foreign exchange was liberalized so we could uh, travel abroad. And that completely changed the environment for Infosys uh, in the early 90s. And that's when we had to take a bold decision that we would build a very large global company and change the way we did things. And we went public in 93, then we listed in the US in 99, 
and we reached a billion dollars of revenue by 2004. So I think there was a step ch uh, change in our belief, our ambition, our goals in the early 90s when India got transformed. I think the fact that Infosys served as an inspiration for so many people and so many entrepreneurs. Every day I meet people across different, very successful people who have been touched by Infosys in some way and they talk about how they were uh, you know, uh, impacted by Infosys and how the Infosys dream and value shaped their own ambition. I met somebody at a very high level uh, in many, many, I meet many people at very high levels in many companies, all of whom are very uh, fond about their Infosys memories. So I think uh, every day I get uh, sort of, uh, uh, sort of a reaffirmation of Infosys' contribution to India and the world. So there are, there are many stories like that. I, recently I had a dinner in uh, Singapore with uh, Ken Griffin. Ken Griffin is the chairman and CEO and co-founder of Citadel Securities, which is a very successful U.S. company. And he said what we have done at Infosys is uh, breathtaking. So, you know, when you get these kind of feedbacks from people whom you, you are never met or met for the first time, it's really something special. 1981 was a seminal year in my life. Uh, I got married in January of 1981 and Infosys was started in July of 1981. So uh, it was a, a big shift. Uh, at that time, uh, starting becoming entrepreneurs in India was not the done thing. Uh, and uh, we got a lot of advice from our friends and relatives that this may not be a great idea. But Murthy held steadfast and we believed in him. And uh, my wife Rohini also believed that Infosys was going to work. So she gave a full support. And so we were able to navigate that very special year of 1981. I think I took all the right decisions in 1981 when, I, when we first started. Perhaps I didn't know better because I was very young and uh, we, we had so much belief in Mr. Murthy's leadership that we were willing to follow him anywhere. And, you know, it was an age when I could take a risk, whereas people like uh, Murthy and Raghavan were much older. They had families and they had, you know, they had to run their homes. So it was an easier decision for some of the younger people who were the co-founders because they didn't really have that many liabilities. Uh, but I think it was a great decision. It took a long time. I mean, it was, Infosys began in 1981 and it was only till 1993 that we were able to go public and really take off. But it was a journey that we thoroughly cherished and enjoyed. I came back in 2017 after a gap of uh, uh, eight years. I had left in 2009. I had gone to Delhi and done the Aadha project and I had worked on that for five years. Then I had an unsuccessful attempt to stand for elections. Then I had done a lot of NGO work with AXTEP. I had become an advisor to NPCI for the development of UPI. So I had done many different things. and. Uh, I had sort of assumed that you know my Infosys part of my life was over. But when I got this opportunity in 2017 to come back, I was very grateful. And even though I'd been away for uh, eight years, it was like it was like just one day had passed. Uh, many many of the my friends and other colleagues were very much there, and uh, I really have enjoyed the past uh, five years when I've been back. And it's wonderful to see Infosys back at the leadership of the software industry as a bellwether. And uh, we have had some outstanding performance under the executive leadership of uh, Salil Parekh. So it's really fun to be back at Infosys. And also I can sense in every interaction with clients and people around the world that uh, Infosys is gaining in stature every day. And more and more people want to work with Infosys as employees or customers or want to buy into Infosys. And so I'm very privileged that I'm chairing Infosys at such a seminal and interesting point. Infosys value is rooted in the background of the founders. The founders came from very humble middle class backgrounds. Mr. Narayan Murthy's father was a school teacher 
My father was a mill manager. Raghavan's father was a lighthouse keeper. So we came from very humble backgrounds. We had no money, but we did have professional expertise. And we felt that we really needed to create a home for professionals where merit is there. We also believed that we should have a clear separation between the corporate and the personal because we had seen around us uh, what were some of the challenges with existing companies. And we said we should create a new kind of a company. And we are of course inspired by global companies uh, like Hewlett Packard or Microsoft or many others, which are also startups of their time in their country. And so I think we wanted to create a very different kind of com uh, company, which put, which put people at the forefront and which had a very clear set of rules and values. I'm very proud of Infosys values and culture. Uh, it's held itself, held itself through in the last 40 years. We have gone through many twists and turns, many, op many opportunities, many threats. But I think the culture and values and focus on people of Infosys is very profound. And even today, whenever I travel, I meet some person who said that they had worked in Infosys some 20 years back or 30 years back and they still have loyal to the company and treasure their moments. So I think the fact that we were able to connect with so many people over the years, I think makes Infosys very special. As we celebrate the 40th anniversary or four decades of excellence, I'm really excited by the future of Infosys. I think I have seen, I go around the world, I meet people, I try to understand the changes happening, the complexities we are facing around the world with economic challenges, inflation, high interest rates, geopolitics and so on. And I am convinced never before has Infosys had such a wonderful opportunity to help companies and governments around the world transform themselves. And I believe the best is yet to come and I really would urge everyone to really get excited and energized by what's coming down in the future and let's make it an even bigger and even greater company. I think when we go, lo, go back 40 years back, we were a bunch of seven people all sitting together and that sense of a small company still exists. Even today, uh, when I walk around the campuses of Infosys, I meet hundreds of people and many of them I know by name and so I think that feeling of uh, knowing people and not just being an aloof company, but very, very no people. I think that's very important. But and the thing that has changed is the dramatic uh, improvement in the sophistication of what we do. Uh, when I talk to customers, I talk to our people, the leading and cutting edge work we do in AI, in big data, in consumerization of user experience, in deep automation, in uh, you know every every area in supply chain and so on. We are doing some amazingly sophisticated work which is defining for our customers. And so the, the sheer depth of talent in Infosys which is working and creating these fantastic solutions is what makes me feel that Infosys has changed so much and what makes me excited about the future.